In this tutorial, we will see how to do a manual load assignment in IDEA StudyCA connection. As we can define many elements and operations in the model, we can also define loads manually. We have mainly two ways to introduce manual loads to the model. The first one is, using the load button from the ribbon menu as we define the member and operation. The second one is, right-clicking on load effects here and selecting new load. Once you add a new load, you can copy that by right-clicking and selecting copy. Now we have a small table in the data window and all I have to do is fill in this table. We can introduce axial force, shear force in two axes and bending moment around three axes. Let's write 50 to M2 slash end axial force. As you see a green arrow is appeared. And as you know, the tension effect is considered the positive direction in civil engineering. You can check the directions via this LCS, local coordinate system button. When you click on this button you can easily see that this axial force is on positive x-axis. If it is compression, you can change 50 as minus 50, and then the arrow turns around. Also we can introduce a shear force in z-axis as 60, and a bending moment around y-axis as 50. Now two more arrows appeared on the beam. Additionally, you can see all the load effects added by user, here in the table named unbalanced forces. If you look at the table in detail, you can load both the end and the begin of M1, but you can only load one side of M2. The horizontal beam can be loaded at the end only, because it is an ended member. The vertical member can be loaded at the beginning and end, because the loads in equilibrium functionality is turned on. We can see the bending moment diagram in wireframe view. Our bending moment value is 50 knm, however I see a bigger value here on the diagram, like 82. It is because of the influence of the shear force. 